I'm Matt Smith. Today on Upfront, a battle over election law changes. We are for voter integrity. We're for transparency. And that's what these bills are about. This is a nationwide effort to provide voter suppression and to make it harder for people to vote. Republicans say changes are needed to restore public trust. Democrats say it's voter suppression. We'll get into the debate with Republican Senator Dewey Strobel of Cedarburg and Democratic Senator Melissa Agard of Madison. Plus, we're going to make it very, very clear that this type of behavior from someone like Ron Johnson is completely unacceptable. The county executive hoping to challenge Ron Johnson and rising numbers of COVID variant cases. How concerned should we be? Taking on the issues important to Wisconsin. This is Upfront with your host, Adrian Pedersen. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us this week. I'm Matt Smith in for Adrian. We begin today with changes to election laws that are being proposed at both the federal and state levels. In Washington, House Democrats have approved a bill they say will increase ballot access across the country and prevent what they call Republican voter suppression measures. Here in Wisconsin, Republicans are proposing a long list of changes they say are needed after the November election. Those include requiring absentee voters to submit an ID for every election. Instead of having one on file, requiring absentee voters to fill out a separate application in the clerk's office, requiring voters who are under 65 who say they are indefinitely confined to provide proof from a medical professional, and prohibit cities from accepting private donations to help run their elections. The state bills are sponsored by Republican Senator Dewey Strobel of Cedarburg, who joins us now, along with Democratic Senator Melissa Agard of Madison. Senators, we appreciate your time. Senator Strobel, let, let me begin with you. You had these bills out for co sponsors how many Democrats signed on? I don't believe any have. What does that tell you about the partisanship of these proposals? Well, it tells me that it's it's sad that we look at it that way. Uh, I know in my office I've, and our, the Capitol as a whole, we've gotten thousands of calls concerned with the integrity of our elections. And even before 2020, there was a Gallup poll that said 59% of the people in this country are concerned about the integrity of their elections. So there are things to, that we need to be doing here and instead of just saying nothing to see here, there is something to see here. Senator Agard, does this show that Democrats are unwilling to even listen to the concerns of Republicans and, quite frankly, a lot of Republican voters? Absolutely not. Um, I am listening to the people all across the state of Wisconsin, and I am looking at the data. Our elections in Wisconsin are fair, free, and secure, and they have been for quite some time. Um, it is really important that we make sure that any threat to our democracy um, is taken care of. And in fact, these bills are built out of fear and rhetoric. If what we want to do is to ensure that people do believe in the security of our elections, we need to stop spinning um, the stories that are coming forward by our previous president and his administration. Senator Strobel, as you know, the criticism of these bills is that this is an attempt to restrict access to voting, especially in Democratic cities in urban areas. Will this package of bills make it harder to vote in Wisconsin? No. And when you go to default to voter suppression and restrict the vote, that's just avoiding the discussion. It's avoiding the debate. The debate. It's really a cop-out. I mean, let me just go through a quick list of real things that are out there that, that have occurred, okay? Um, voting lists not being maintained, mailing of ballots with no voter IDs, recount transparency just is not there. Um, healthy people saying that they are indefinitely confined, breaking the law in that regard. Um, election commission prohibiting special, special voting deputies from going into senior citizens' facilities. Statutory timelines being ignored by the city of Madison, voting early when they had no legal right to do so. Uh, drop boxes illegally placed. Uh, outside private monies to specific municipalities. Um, ballot curing that's illegal. I mean, the list goes on. These are real things that happened, and these are what we're trying to deal with to fix. Senator Agard, your response to those concerns? Frankly, here in Wisconsin, again, our elections are fair, free, and secure, and I am indebted to our election clerks um, and the people that help our elections work for the people of our communities. I have talked to election clerks in my district um, and other people who volunteer and work at our elections. And if what we want to do is to um, 
to support our elections, we need to provide them with more resources. We don't need to be making it harder for them to be doing our jobs. The fact that our elections in Wisconsin are decentralized is vital in um, making sure that people understand that our elections are fair, free, and secure. And it's really unfortunate that the Republicans in Wisconsin are depending on gerrymandering um, and rigging our elections, making it harder for people to vote, as opposed to listening to the people of the state of Wisconsin and focusing on what it is that they're asking for. They want our schools to be funded. They want to make sure that we're lowering health care costs and we're navigating outside of this pandemic so that our small businesses and our families can continue to be thriving. Let's talk about absentee voting and so some of the provisions within this that, that are being proposed. More than half of Wisconsinites voted absentee either in person or, or by mail in 2020. Senator Agard, what's wrong in your mind of this idea of a universal absentee ballot application and, and requiring a photo ID for every request? Well, our election clerks already have the photo IDs on file for many of you know, for the vast majority of the people, unless they're indefinitely confined. Um, and why would we have to resubmit them every single time? We're not providing more resources to our clerks. Our clerks do have um, the ability to hold on to this material, um, and they know our communities the best. The fact that we have these decentralized elections in Wisconsin ensures that they are fair, free, and secure. And um, what we need to do is remove barriers to voting, and we need to realize that there are already very stiff consequences for people that do break election rules in Wisconsin. Senator Strobel, the idea behind these proposals. We, we, we have voter ID as a state law that passed years ago. And of course, before that passed, we were told that the sky was falling, that that would just be horrible and create voter suppression. We've had more voter turnout since voter ID was passed than ever before. So that's not, a, that's not an accurate statement. And again, we gotta close these loopholes because that's, that's the law, voter ID. And right now, you can vote without your ID, and that's wrong, that's in violation of our law. Um, you know, we've also got issues as part of this bill also. On election night, let's find out how many votes, votes were mailed out how many have ret been returned, and how many are still outstanding. Again, these are transparency issues. This has nothing to do with suppression. This is let's just create more integrity for our system so people can have confidence in it. Senator Strobel, the governor has essentially said he, he will veto this, this package of bills. What is the end game here then? Well, I mean, it's a shame that he feels that way. I think that really defines who we are and who they are. We are for voter integrity. We're for transparency, we're for consistency. And that's what these bills are about. And if you veto these bills, like I believe the governor probably will, um, it, it, it says a lot about who he is and who we are. And that is, I think, what the voters will need to see. As part of the governor's proposal, his, his budget proposal, in, in it he wants to allow clerks to count absentee ballots uh, the day before the election. Repub some Republicans and Democrats agree to this. There may be different paths to get there. Senator Agard, is this something where Democrats and Republicans can find compromise on? Absolutely. I believe that is somewhere that we can find compromise on. This is something that my election clerks are asking for in my district, and I know election clerks are asking for across the state of Wisconsin. But the fact that we've had over 250 pieces of legislation introduced by state legislators across the nation since the election in November, um, insinuating that our elections are not fair, free, and secure after the most, um, the most studied election in our nation's history, when we had uh, people from the Trump administration as well as the Biden administration come forward and say that these elections were fair, free, and secure. Um, this is a nationwide effort to um, provide voter suppression and to make it harder for people to vote. And I am grateful that Governor Evers is going to make sure that our elections in Wisconsin continue to be fair, free, and secure, and that people know that their votes do matter. Um, we need to make sure that we are addressing um, gerrymandering. We need to make sure that we're addressing the ability to cast their ballots in the state of Wisconsin. And as elected officials, we need to be hearing what it is that matters most to people. And as we navigate through this pandemic, we need to make sure that people realize that their votes actually do matter in the state of Wisconsin, as opposed to making it harder for them to vote. Senator Strobel, should clerks be allowed to count absentee yeah, ballots? Well, Go ahead. All I'm hearing here, again, is nothing to see here. And I ticked off those lists of real live issues that we are having today. And we're talking about Wisconsin elections here. We're not talking about the country. 
And again, we've got to restore the integrity of these elections. We've got problems and just to turn a blind eye to them. And as far as making it difficult to vote, I mean, you know, unlike our Senate Minority Leader Janet Buley, who said the voters are not smart, and that's a direct quote, I don't believe our voters are not smart. I think our voters are very capable of doing the things that need to be done to ensure that we have election integrity while we also have free and open access to the voting process. On this issue of clerks counting early, Senator Strobel, do you want to see that happen as well? Yeah, I support that bill. I think that's a great bill, and it's, it's, it's one of our uh, Republican bills that we have coming out. A lot of discussion ahead. Senators Dewey Strobel and Senator Melissa Agard, we appreciate your time and your insights today as this process moves forward. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Coming up, a growing field of Democrats lining up to challenge Ron Johnson. I'll talk with one of the first to get in the race, Outagamie County Executive Tom Nelson. Plus, a new vaccine due to arrive in Wisconsin. Are we in a race with COVID variants?